With great power comes great responsibility. That may be why Spider-Man has good comebacks. Bad joke, I'll leave. Hey, 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 welcome to my channel, everyone. I'm the Global Cherry, and today we'll be talking about everything we could expect about the new Marvel Spider-Man 2 game. Before we begin, subscribe, like the video, and enjoy the show. Will one of you finally give me what I desire? If you loved the first Marvel Spider-Man game and the Miles Morales game, you would be as hyped for Marvel Spider-Man 2 as I am. I've had way too much fun with those games from the impactful storytelling, the humor, and just webbing every living thing on sight. Oh stop complaining, you'll live! We could possibly see more details for Marvel Spider-Man 2 at large in two game events. Marvel Spider-Man 2 may show up in the upcoming Summer Games Fest this Thursday, as the game showed up in a reel for it. More info on the game could also show up in the future game show Summer Showcase featuring Yuri Lowenthal and Laura Bailey on June 10 this Saturday. They played Peter Parker and MJ after all. There's also an Xbox Showcase on June 11th that you could keep your eyes peeled for. Hopefully we'll get new details such as the game's release date, pre-orders, edition information, and perhaps more gameplay to give us more insight on what to expect for the game. There was a rumored game article long ago that went live and got taken down instantly. Maybe because someone got too excited about the game and accidentally leaked the release date. According to that article, the release date was supposedly September 8th and the game would come with a custom PS5. There were also lots of interesting details showcased in Marvel Spider-Man 2's old trailer and the recent 12 minute demo that was shown about two weeks ago. According to the old Marvel Spider-Man 2 trailer, Kraven the Hunter will be in the game looking for an equal opponent to push him as he is bored of his existing ones. Finally, a worthy opponent. This could mean that he would track not only Spider-Man, but several of New York City's superhumans in Manhattan like Black Cat, Prowler, Wraith, Tombstone, Taskmaster, and Miles. The Great Hunt begins. It seems like he'll be busy with just a Spider-Man though, because there's no such thing as too many Spider-Men. The 12 minute gameplay showed that Kraven and his hunters were hunting Kurt Connors, aka the Lizard. Seems like Kraven is hunting every super powered being like Pokemon. He's trying to catch them all regardless of whether they are on Peter's side or not. Peter was also shown in the gameplay in his symbiote suit, ensuring that the hunters do not go near him or Connors. It's not revealed how the suit was introduced to him, however you can see the changes and corruption he goes through in that suit, like the rage in his voice while smashing enemies against the wall using the symbiote. The beast could be anywhere. You have no idea. This whole blizzard hunt ends now! Leave Connor alone! The gameplay also shows the player switching Peter's perspective to Miles as he tracks the lizard down in the Harlem fish market. Why are both of them so intent on finding Connors and rescuing him? There is potentially a reason why. Theory time! Peter did say that Harry was dying and needed their help, and after the credits of Marvel Spider-Man, it showed Harry Osborn ill and fused with the Venom symbiote floating in a green tank covered in the symbiote. This could have meant that Harry is the Venom that Peter and Miles face in the first Spider-Man 2 trailer, and from the the new gameplay, it looks like Peter takes the symbiote from Harry, which could explain why his life is in danger. Mr. Osborne, I understand he's your son, but his I disease could. Kurt. Well, we may be underestimating the potential danger. I said! Get him out! Now! The gameplay also features wings on both Peter and Miles' suits. The HUD, the finishers, and the combat also look incredible. Their chase scenes also look pretty phenomenal down the New York City's rivers. I do not want to be lizard food! Peter's sleek black suit has some clues, such as tendrils wrapped around his arms reinforcing to the players that the suit is organic. Maybe Peter will turn into Venom or the suit will be more Venom-like. Perhaps while switching the perspective to Miles, we'll have to stop Peter before he falls to the darkness. He's mine. You sure? He's got big teeth. So do I. Um, he's not normally like that, right? 
If you enjoyed Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, one of my favorite movies of all time, you'll love Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, its sequel. If your Spidey senses have noticed, there was actually some gameplay for Marvel's Spider-Man 2 in that movie, confirmed by James Stevenson. Stop what you're doing and stop Spider-Man! There was an animated version of the advanced suit in the trailer. There was also a pop-up over one of the Spider-Men that said they were the Insomniac Spider-Man of Earth 1048. Yep, that's him, officer. The Yuri Lowenthal Spider-Man. Genki was also shown in Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, playing Marvel Spider-Man 2. There was also a snippet of the gameplay without the symbiote suit in the movie. What else could we possibly expect from the game? Well, there could be a bigger open world. The next iteration of New York City in this game would be roughly twice the size of that in Marvel Spider-Man. While we will swing around Manhattan in the second game, this sequel will enable us to explore Queens, Brooklyn, and other boroughs. The second game will also be single player. Perhaps we'll also see another story trailer for Marvel Spider-Man 2. As Yuri Lowen said, we've seen just the thwip of the Spiderberg, so we have seen nothing yet. We can also expect instantaneous perspective switching on the PS5 and also good Spider-Man storytelling. Intihar assures that in the game, the idea will remain that when the superhero wins, Peter will lose. Insomniac mentions that we're going to see things we hope for in this game, but there will be new surprises along the way, maybe like Kraven's last hunt. What do you hope to expect in Marvel Spider-Man 2? Comment down below! That is all for today, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content like like this. Will Insomniac meet our expectations for the second game as much as they did for the first game? They've made some pretty bold choices in the first game after all, including Aunt May's fate. Maybe they'll do the same for this one. Thank you for watching, and that's all. Alley you on three! Hi. One!